Okay, now this is the second video looking at the DT-ADM. Now, we need to, um, what I've got to do is, I've got to tell the logger how often I'm going to make a measurement. Now that is called a schedule. So I need to add a schedule, so we click on this button here, and the schedule I'm going to call it, I'll call it Schedule A, and I'm going to make a measurement every um, two seconds, for example, okay? Oh, um, maybe, no, I'll make that five. Five seconds, right? Every five seconds, now I'm going to create the schedule. Now I've created a schedule. I now want to do a thermocouple measurement. So I now, for that schedule, I need to hit this plus key on the end of that. Come over here, now I select, I want to take a temperature measurement. The type of temperature measurement I want to make is um, a thermocouple. I happen to have a type K. So there it is there. And I can either wire it between the star and the hash on a channel or the plus and minus. So you can actually have three thermocouple measurements on a single channel. Now in this case, I'm going to go between the plus and the minus, and I'm going to connect it to channel two. So if we now plug this in to here, um, and plug that in to channel two, there it is between the plus and the minus on channel two. So we're happy with that. We're taking measurement every couple of seconds now, uh, every five seconds it was. Now, when we've, we need to create this. All right, so we've added the channel. There it is there, except the name. I don't like the name. So I'm going to, to change the name. I'll call it, call it T2 because I'm connected to thing, uh, the channel there. So I'm gonna save that. Notice the name has changed over here. Now we have to apply that for the, to the logger. Now when we click on apply that to the logger, we transfer the program over to here. And if we scroll around yet here, when it starts working, there it is, 23. Now if I happen to make a hold on to that, next time it makes a measurement, it'll go up to around 30 degrees. There it is there. So now we're data logging. Programming up a thermocouple is as simple as that. Next video, we're going to look up, look at uh, putting multiple thermocouples into a single channel. Thank you very much.